Hello, welcome to Astronautics for Exploit. I am Dr. Ayanshola Ogundili, and I will be presenting Lunar Base, a future base for space exploration, research and development, lunar tourism, and mining of lunar resources. The overview of my presentation is as follows. Lunar Outpost, Lunar Base Justification, Lunar Greenhouse, and lunar-based models and proposals. For many centuries, space enthusiasts have fantasized their ultimate, more sea and more physical destination to be the Earth's natural satellite, reversed towards the moon. Various imagined voyage, adventures and lunar tourism to the moon have been demonstrated through different science fictions, movies and novels. In the year 1902, a movie titled A Trip to the Moon, inspired by the novels From the Earth to the Moon and Around the Moon, written in the years 1865 and 1817 respectively, was based on a group of astronomers that traveled to the moon in a cannon propelled capsule, explored the moon's surface, escaped from an underground group of lunar inhabitants and return to the earth with the captive selenite. The dream of sending humans back to the moon is becoming a reality based on the disruptive technologies and innovative approaches and back upon by the new space companies such as SpaceX, Boeing, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, Lucky Martins, Natural Grumman, Asian Space, and the unalloyed support by the investors. Various governments are helping in this direction by formulating policies and strategies that will help in the actualization of sending women back to the moon. Lunar base, a lunar outpost concept of a permanent or semi-permanent presence of women on the moon, also reversed to as the moon base, has been identified as being important for moon inhabitants' protection. Minimization of cost involved in transporting materials from the Earth to the moon. Lunar space tourists can lodge in need. Astronomical observation can be easily done using the base and useful for mining of lunar resources. Since 1950s, Different types of models and proposals have been put forward for the establishment of permanent human presence on the moon and lunar colonies. Examples are Moon Village, Project Horizon, Lunar Project, International Lunar Research Station, Lunar Polygon, Lunar Base of Inflatable Models, Subsurface Base Located at the Sea of Tranquility and Lunar Rubber Base. Recently, a lot of efforts are, and resources are dedicated to the human settlements on the moon. For example, Open Lunar Foundation is working on creating a peaceful, cooperative future on the moon for life, developing policies and partnerships that will help in the sustenance of the lunar settlement, which is driven by open values. The Moon Village Association is partnering with stakeholders, such as governments, industry, academia, and the public who are interested in the development of the Moon Village. Lunar Outpost. A lunar base, also known as Moon Base, or lunar outpost is a facility placed on the surface of the moon to enable women to carry out various activities on the moon. Lunar base versus lunar space station. A lunar base is positioned on the surface of the moon, while a lunar space station is positioned in orbit around the moon. The lunar gateway of the Artemis program is an example of a lunar space station. This picture shows concept art from NASA showing astronauts entering a lunar outpost. 
crude and uncrude moon facility. Moon bases, a stepping stone towards moon colonization, can be used for both crude and uncrude purposes. Plans for establishing facilities on the moon that could enable sustained human activity at the moon have been proposed and are actively being pursued nationally and internationally by space agencies and private space companies. This picture shows Tranquility Base. Useful facilities on the moon. At a lunar base, the engineering challenge is to use the moon's materials to establish a variety of useful facilities, serving as habitats, centers for agriculture and lunar tourism, transportation systems, power plants, mines, production facilities, and laboratories. This picture shows illustration of the construction of a moon base. Lunar base justification. There are various justifications for the establishment of lunar base, and some of them are as follows. Moon inhabitants protection, cost minimization, lunar space tourism, astronomical observation, and resource mining. Moon inhabitants protection. A lunar base is very important for the protection of its inhabitants. Since the moon has no atmosphere, a lunar base must be airtight and also provide breathable air. It must be able to shield the people inside it from radiation. This picture shows a lunar base proposal. A lunar base is very important for the protection of the inhabitants and for making the tourists enjoy their stay on the moon. Protection from radiation. A lava tube or pyroduct is a natural conduit formed by flowing lava from a volcanic fan that moves beneath the adding surface of a lava flow. If lava in the tube empties, it will leave a cave. Another way to protect a lunar base from radiation is to put it underground in a lava tube. Photographs of the Aristocles region show many interrupted channels. This may be lava tubes that have collapsed in places. This picture shows lava tube at critters of the moon. Cost minimization. Lunar base will help to minimize the cost of sending materials from Earth to the moon which is very expensive. A high priority for any lunar base is to minimize the need for resupply from Earth. This picture shows a mock-up of aspiration for future moon village. Lunar space tourism. With the establishment of lunar base, lunar space tourism, a human tourism to the moon will be made possible. A lot of efforts are directed by the private space companies towards making lunar space tourism a reality and establishment of a lunar base will help in achieving the goals. This picture shows illustration of a proposed industrial base for mining water and producing propellant at a lunar pole, featuring crew habitants, robotics and industrial equipment. Astronomical observation. The practice and study of observing celestial objects with the use of telescopes and other astronomical instruments can be done using the lunar base. Performing astronomical observation on the moon will enable distant universe to be better monitored than being monitored on the Earth. This picture shows a fission of an international research base on the moon. Resource mining. The presence of moon base will enable easy access to the moon resources. More resources that are rare on Earth, but much more abundant on the lunar surface, and could potentially be cheaper to mine from the moon, will be easy mined. This picture shows a lunar base concept. Lunar Greenhouse A greenhouse, also called a glasshouse, 
or if with sufficient eating a hot house is a structure with walls and roof made chiefly of transparent material such as glass in which plants requiring regulated climatic conditions are grown. These structures range in size from small sheds to industrial sized buildings. This picture shows flowers in a greenhouse. Commercial greenhouses. Many of the commercial glass greenhouses or hot houses are high tech production facilities for vegetables, flowers, or fruits. Various techniques are used to evaluate optimality, degrees, and comfort ratio of greenhouses. For, for example, air temperature, relative humidity, and vapor pressure deficits in order to reduce production risk prior to cultivation of a specific crop. This picture shows illustration of a then greenhouse project. It is of high probability that when humans go to the moon or Mars, they will take plants along for eating. Researchers sponsored by NASA are learning how greenhouses could work on other planets. Long-term explorers. Long-term explorers on Mars or the moon will need to grow plants for food, for recycling, and for replenishing the air. This picture shows illustration of greenhouse. It will help to reduce the weight of the supplies that need to be lifted of the earth, even here as mass. Lunar greenhouses must hold up in places where the atmospheric pressures are at best less than 1% of earth normal. Those greenhouses will be easier to construct and operate if their interior pressure is also very low. This picture shows concept of lunar greenhouse. Prototype lunar greenhouse. Through the design and construction of an innovative hydroponic plant growth chamber, the prototype lunar greenhouse is designed to sustain a continuous vegetation, vegetarian diet for astronauts on distant locations such as the moon or Mars. It employs plants and crop production designed to provide not only food, but air revitalization, water recycling, and waste recycling. This picture shows prototype lunar greenhouse. Lunar-based models and proposals. Different models and proposals have been put forward for lunar base. And some of them are as follows. The moon based ideas are Moon Village, Project Horizon, Lunar Project, International Lunar Research Station, Lunar Polygon, Lunar Base of Inflatable Models, Subsurface Base located at the Sea of Tranquility, and Lunar Rover Base. Moon Village. Moon Village seeks to create a vision where both international cooperation and the commercialization of space can thrive. The concept. Moon Village concept encompasses any kind of lunar activities, whether robotic or astronautics, 3D printed habitats, refueling stations, relay orbiters, astronomy, exploiting resources, and tourism. This picture shows artist conception of a moon village on the lunar surface. The idea of the moon village is to achieve some degree of coordination and exploitation of potential synergies and to create a permanent sustainable presence on the surface of the moon, whether robotic or crude. Moon village concept encompasses any kind of lunar activities. This picture shows a moon-based concept of the demonstration of remote construction. Moon Village Association is a non-governmental organization based in Vienna. Its goal is the creation of a permanent global informal forum for stakeholders like governments, industry, academia, 
and the public interested in the development of the Mon village. It is composed of more than 600 participants from more than 50 countries and 33 institutional members around the globe, representing a diverse array of technical, scientific, cultural, and interdisciplinary fields. This picture shows interior of a 3D printed section of SS plant home village. Project Horizon is another model that was proposed. In 1959, a study was carried out to determine the feasibility of constructing a lunar base on the moon. This led to the project also. Functions of the lunar outpost. To develop techniques in moon-based surveillance of the earth and space, in communications relay, and in operations on the surface of the moon. To serve as a base for all exploration of the moon, for further exploration into space, and to support scientific investigations on the moon. This picture shows Project Horizon Lunar Landing and Return Vehicle. Lunar's project is another proposed lunar base. The Lunar's project was planned in 1958 for a crude lunar landing prior to the Apollo program. The final lunar expedition plan in 1961 was for a 21 person on the ground base on the moon. Lunar's vehicle. The Lunar's vehicle composed of a landing model and a lifting body return and re-entry model is designed to land the entire vehicle and all astronauts on the surface of the moon. This picture shows robotic construction of lunar and matter infrastructure using 3D printing. International Lunar Research Station is another lunar-based proposal. It's a planned lunar-based proposal currently being developed. It's a complex experimental research facility to be constructed with a possible attraction of partners on the surface and or in the orbit of the moon. This picture shows picture of the moon. The design purpose for multidiscipline and multipurpose scientific research activities, including exploration and use of the moon, moon-based observation, fundamental research experiments, and technology verification with the capability of long-term unmanned operation with the prospect of subsequent moon presence. This picture shows NASA concept art of an efficient lunar mining facility. ILRS facilities are as follows. Cis lunar transportation facility, supporting round trip transfers between the Earth and the Moon, including lunar descent, landing, ascent, and return to Earth. Long term support facility on the lunar surface to consist of further support models for operations on the lunar surface. Lunar transportation and operation facility to consist of models for lunar exploration and cargo transportation. Lunar scientific facility to support in orbit and surface experiments. And ground support and application facility. A data center and ground support operations. This picture shows an early lunar outpost designed based on a model of the sun. Scientific objectives of International Lunar Research Station are lunar topography, geomorphology and geological structure, lunar chemistry, cislunar space environment, lunar-based astronomical observation, lunar-based earth observation, lunar-based biological and medical experiment, and lunar resource in situ utilization. This picture shows concept of a lunar base. Lunar polygon is another lunar base proposal. Lunar polygon is a planned fully robotic lunar base. This base will progress with the construction of a habitable lunar base that will have several components, such as solar power station, telecommunication station, technological station, scientific station, long range resource rover, landing and launch area, and the telecom orbiting satellite. This picture shows proposed lunar outpost. 
Lunar base of inflatable models is another proposal. Inflatable avatars or expandable avatars are pressurized tent like structures capable of supporting life in outer space whose internal volume increases after launch. In 1954, Otto Clark proposed a lunar base of inflatable models covered in lunar dust for insulation. This picture shows inflatable model concept for lunar base. By the proposition, a spaceship assembled in low Earth orbit will launch to the moon and astronauts will set up the Inglo-like models under inflatable radio masts. Construction steps. Establishment of a larger permanent dome, an IG-based air purifier, a nuclear reactor for the provision of power, and electromagnetic canals to launch cargo and fuel to interplanetary vessels in space. This picture shows toroid inflatable station concept. Transarp, an inflatable model called Transarp was proposed for the International Space Station. Bigelow Aerospace revived the design for use in potential civil and commercial applications. This picture shows an artist's rendering of the Transarp inflatable model. Subsurface base located at the Sea of Tranquility. In 1962, John Dinek and Stanley Zahn proposed the idea of a subsurface base located at the Sea of Tranquility, the base design. The base was designed to house a crew of 21 in models placed 4 meters below the surface, which was believed to provide radiation seeding on par with Earth's atmosphere. This picture shows artist's impression of a lunar base. Lunar rover base. Even an pressurized lunar rover base was proposed for long duration treks across the moon's surface. The rover contains all facilities and supplies to house about four crew for up to two weeks. A crew airlock permits the crew to exceed and enter the rover and may double as a docking port to the lunar base. A smaller sample airlock permits the crew using remote manipulators mounted on the rover front to select, pick up, and retrieve samples without exiting the rover. This picture shows proposed avian and pressurized lunar rover. You've been watching and listening to Lunar Base, a future base for space exploration, lunar space tourism, research and development, and mining of lunar resources. Thank you.